These are the 10 signs of magnesium deficiency that you should never ignore. The very first one that I see that is so common when I see a lot of my patients and clients coming in, complaining about actually muscle cramps, as well as like eye twitching, even with any kind of twitching on the body. In fact, my experience is sometimes I'll actually get twitching on my pec or also in my eye constantly because this is where I know that I'm definitely more magnesium deficient. But also if you are dealing with like restless leg syndrome, it is so common because magnesium plays a crucial role in the function of muscles as well as just muscle relaxation. Now, the second warning sign that I see that a lot of people actually kind of overlook is when someone actually is experiencing low energy. And the reason why this can be a magnesium deficiency is because magnesium plays a huge role in actually energy production. And whenever I actually have a patient and I've had actually several come in where they might have tested everything, testing for thyroid, testing for hormones, seeing all the different doctors, but they're still dealing with low energy. And what I will do is like, okay, let's look at maybe some micronutrient deficiencies. And a lot of times I will actually see magnesium being a deficient one. And by supplementing that and implementing that for a while, that can improve significantly on your low energy experiences. So if you are dealing with low energy and have exhausted everything else, it might be a magnesium deficiency. Now, the third one, I found that this was really interesting. I had a patient that came in and she was dealing with irregular heartbeat, arrhythmia, as well as just heart palpitations. And she was working with actually a cardiovascular doctor at the time. And we also exhausted a lot of different tests and couldn't figure out why she was constantly having these irregular heartbeats. And finally, you know, I decided, okay, let's just run some micronutrient tests to see what else could be a possibility. And sure enough, her magnesium levels were very depleted. In fact, even another one that I did found was taurine. And taurine also is very important for cardiovascular health. So is magnesium. Because magnesium is involved in maintaining proper heart functionality as well as regulating heart rhythm. So sure enough, obviously by implementing the magnesium and even the taurine for this actually patient of mine did really help a lot with managing her heart palpitations as well as her arrhythmia a little bit. And so that she saw a big improvement because we just implemented something like magnesium. Now, the fourth one, this one I'd see is definitely overlooked constantly and something you should always keep in mind if you do have these types of symptoms. And that actually has to do with having anxiety and mood changes. A lot of times we just want to think it's a brain chemistry situation that's actually the issue of why we're dealing with anxiety and mood disorders. But there's a several different micronutrients, especially magnesium, that play a critical role in actually helping with a lot of our different neurotransmitters. And if there is a deficiency there, guess what? You are going to have imbalances in your brain chemistry, but you might just think it's like, okay, I just have maybe a dopamine or serotonin issue going on here. But really the problem is having just a magnesium deficiency. And by just improving that, and I see this all the time, just improving that one electrolyte can really make all the difference. Now, number five, along with talking about actually brain chemistry, is something that you will sometimes experience is maybe you're dealing with some sleep issues. Maybe you uh, have a hard time getting good quality sleep throughout the night, and this can be possibly due to a magnesium deficiency. And the reason being, it goes back to the brain chemistry. And because magnesium plays a critical role in that, it can impact your sleep. Not only that, we also talked about the muscle cramping. We also talked about having restless leg syndrome. That could be also keeping you up at night and that can be due to a magnesium deficiency situation. And so sometimes without me even testing, if people don't want to invest in actually testing, investigating, I will actually supplement magnesium to help with their sleep. And a lot of times they will find that it does benefit them because how critical magnesium is, not for for our brain, but also for our nervous system, because what it does, it also calms down the nervous system. It calms down the muscles so that you can sleep and relax at night. Now, number six, if you are someone that deals with high blood pressure and you've done everything, you've eaten well, you're exercising, you're hydrating, you're doing good on your medications, but you're still having a hard time really getting your blood pressures down. Well, it could be possible that it is a magnesium deficiency because magnesium does help with blood pressure by relaxing the blood vessels. So if you are someone that is deficient in magnesium, guess what? That's going to increase your blood pressure levels. And so it doesn't matter what you do, you can be eating healthy and you could be doing all the great things and even take the blood pressure medications and still not getting to where you want you should probably be looking to see if you have a magnesium deficiency. Now, if you're getting any value in today's video, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button, the like button, because we talk everything about brain health and ways to optimizing your brain. So if you like that, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Now, number seven, I think people overlook and not thinking that this can be a magnesium deficiency and that has to do with osteoporosis. Now, magnesium is involved in the metabolism and plays a huge role in bone density. 
And people don't think about this, but they look at all the other different things that can deal with osteoporosis. And so by making sure that you're not deficient, magnesium can prevent you from things like osteoporosis. But even if you are someone that deals with osteoporosis, you should be looking at magnesium to prevent from having brittle bones and early earlier fractures that you definitely want to prevent from happening. Number eight, there's a lot of research around this when it comes to migraines and magnesium, not only with magnesium, but something that I see that is very common is along with magnesium is also vitamin B12 deficiency as well as CoQ10. In fact, those three combos they have found to be a very effective tool to helping actually prevent migraines as well as help get rid of migraines because they find over and over again that they are deficient in these three areas. And so I will use this a lot on my patients. In fact, if someone like myself that has suffered with migraines and headaches, I will make sure that I get enough adequate amount of magnesium, vitamin B12 and CoQ10 because those three combo together have been a big game changer. So if you're done with migraines, maybe you actually do have a magnesium deficiency. Number nine, and this is probably the most common one that I will see anytime I have a patient that comes in and complains about digestive issues, but even more so complaining about constipation. My mind always goes to thinking that they probably have a magnesium deficiency. It is so common to see someone who's very constipated that they possibly have magnesium deficiency. So what I'll have them do is what I call it is a bowel tolerance test with magnesium. Now, if they don't want to invest in trying to look at to see if there's a micronutrient deficiency going on here, this is uh, the next best thing. And that is simply that you will take magnesium and start at a very slow dose and until that you get good consistent bowel movements. So what I like to see is between two to three bowel movements a day. So if you're not at that point, then you should start with, you know, one, you know, magnesium, maybe go up to two to three until you actually get to that two to three. Now, once it starts becoming loose, this is where you got to be careful. This is where you probably, this is where you've reached your bowel tolerance and your body is actually excreting not only the stool, but also other important minerals and dehydrating you. So you got to be really careful here to make sure that you're cutting back to maybe the previous dose that got you that good two to three bowel movements a day. Once you've reached that, then that is probably the adequate amount of magnesium that you do need. And that is actually a sign that you are magnesium deficient because you're needing magnesium to just get good bowel movements going. And so it's something you definitely should be looking at and investigating because magnesium plays a critical role and maintaining good regular bowel movements every single day. Now, number 10, I feel like a lot of people don't think about this when it comes to a magnesium deficiency. And this has to do with poor memory, cognition decline, as well as not being able to be focused, attentive, all of these things, like I was saying before, how magnesium is so critical with not only building a lot of different ear transmitters that helps us to be focused, to help us to pay attention, but I have seen in research time and time again that people with ADHD tend to be magnesium deficient. And a lot of people with cognitive function decline we see in research that deals with magnesium deficiency more so than the average person. So a lot of times I will actually supplement this and it really can make a huge difference in these areas, especially if you're deficient in it. So if you're someone that has been dealing with ADHD or have dealt with cognitive function decline or memory issues, there's possibility that you are dealing with a magnesium deficiency. Now, another very common deficiency that I see all the time with my patients and clients is vitamin D. And it's something that is can be really impactful on your health. And if you're not checking this, it's very important. So if you actually are concerned that you might have a vitamin D deficiency, you should watch this video next. I talk about the warning signs of vitamin D deficiency that you should be looking out for. So watch this video next.